Hello, long time no see, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Fahima and in this video, I will share about my reading wrap up on January and February. The last time I did this reading wrap up was on October, I think. I didn't do it on November and December because many things happened. One of them is I was getting married, so yeah. And I'm doing this video especially for Miss Lika, Kaka Pisisisip, because she requested me doing this. You're so cute. Hello, Kak Lika. This video is especially for you and for every one of you who wanted to look for your next read. On January and February, I read a total of 13 books. So I read five books on January. Here are them. These are the five books I read in January and eight books on February. So yeah, I'm gonna review it one by one, starting off for the books I read in, on January. The first one was The Seven Years Sleep. It's by Ashley Poston. The genre of the book is magical realism romance and that's not what I'm usually reading. I passed through her at the bookstore for so many times. The genre simply didn't appeal to me because I've never read that genre before, but no, you guys, you should read this book. Everyone on YouTube talked about it, and my favorite YouTuber, Helly Femme, she initially didn't want to read this book because of the same reason as I am, but she then decided to read the book and she loved it. It simply ensured me to pick up this book and I love it. I simply swooned over the male main character of this book and I immediately needed his point of view like ASAP. This book is just so different. It's different from any other romance and yeah, everything felt so good in portion. Must read, five stars. All right, moving on to the second book I read on January, which is Betting on You by Lynn Painter. So this is the newly out book of Lynn Painter. Lynn Painter wrote a sensational young adult romance book better than the movies. I love that book. It's one of my most favorite book of all time. And when I knew that she wrote another young adult romance, I immediately picked this book up. Yeah, it's Lynn Painter, you guys. It's Lynn Painter writing a young adult romance. She didn't disappoint at all. I have to admit that I didn't love the book as much as I love better than the movies but it's still good, it's still good. Lynn Painter just always wrote and created a cute fictional boy and he is so gentlemanly and he had everything I wouldn't find in my youth. And the ending of the story, it got me so emotional. I think Lynn Painter wrapped up the story so well, so four stars, not the best of Lynn Painter, but still worth a read, four stars. Then I picked up the book by Louise O'Neill it's idle. The genre of the book is thriller. I picked this book up because it was like 70% off at the bookstore and the cover is intriguing for me. It's about a writer called Samantha Miller. She had a best friend named Lisa. I think Louise O'Neill is just so clever and this book is very different from what I've read. And the book covered so many things in life, such as social media and cancel culture. And the tension kept on building. And we kept on questioning where the book end, what the truth was. I think this is how a writer should write a thriller book because it's a bingeable and it's unputdownable. So five stars. Read is recommended. And then I read Why Didn't They Ask Evans by Agatha Christie. This is a book I picked up randomly at the thrift store because I just want to read Agatha Christie. Fun fact, I never read anything about Agatha Christie before. So this is literally my first time ever reading her work. And I generally don't know how to feel about my first Agatha Christie ever. Okay, I enjoyed reading the book and I felt nothing unpleasant while reading it. But considering that this book was published in 1934, so 90 years ago, I kept on finding peculiar things that we couldn't have believed happening right now. There was it, so three stars. Maybe I should read her other book better than this. 
And the last book I read in January was Standing in the Shadows by Shannon McKenna. I picked this book in a thrift store, a second-hand bookstore. Uh, I have it on my video, Sarang Buku Bekas Keningan Jakarta. I picked this book up, as you know, because of the genre. It's romantic suspense, which a thing that I've never read before. The book's romantic part was overwhelmingly so dominant, more than the suspense part which was incredibly disappointing. I think this book would be better if the writer would chop off like half of the romantic part and explore more of the suspense part. So yeah, nevertheless, I had a pleasant time reading these, so three stars. That is all for the books that I read on January, moving on to the books I read on February. Here are them. So the first one is The Happy Ever of the Playlist by Abby Jimenez. I read Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez and I love, love, love the book. That book is top tier romance. And I just love how she wrote the writing style. I enjoy that very much and how she created the characters and the banter of the characters, I love her for that. Abby Jimenez, I love you. You guys should read it. I think the happy ever of the playlist just consists of good story and you guys will have a good time reading these. And it's actually the second of the series and I didn't read the first one, The Friend Zone, I think, and I had no problem reading this, so yeah. It's the second book of the series, but you definitely could read it as a standalone, four stars. And then I read The Housemate by Freedom McFadden. This book just stood on my bookshelf for a long time and I think that it's time for me to pick this book because I read romance and then I just craving for some thriller after that so I picked this book up and I've known a bit about this book just because people talked about it so much on Instagram, on TikTok and I know I shouldn't have read them I mean the TikTok or the Instagram one because I saw the plot twist coming sadly but not at the very end. You guys, you should just keep on continue reading till the very end and you will gasp in awe, like for sure. I think Frida is really good at creating plot twists here and there. And I finished this book in less than a day. It just showed how much I love this book and it captured my full attention. And I think once again, Frida is just so talented in writing thrillers four stars for the housemate. And next I read Red Queen by Victoria Aviard. So it's a young adult fantasy, yeah, romanticy, I think. And I sincerely didn't find any amusement on reading this book because I didn't find any fresh things, any new ideas while reading this book because the premise of the book is just too common and too cliche. I will give this book three stars because I'm genuinely curious on how the story goes on because apparently there are three more books after this. So three stars. Next I read I'm a fan Machina Patel. So in 2024 reading resolution i want to read more literary fiction so yeah i picked this book and it seriously disappointed me like i i hate this book i hate it i'm sorry best debut novel of the year mm -mm, not for me so i'm definitely unmistakably not a fan of the book i think the lack of structure made it felt repetitive throughout the book but I felt some of the words some of her stories I could picture them in some parts but not in the parts where she mentioned the man I want to be with I hate him I hate her and the woman I am obsessed with I hate her too okay just just go away from my life I mean girl just leave him alone what she did and what she chose to do in her life, I think they're just so contrary to what I believe a woman should be and should do. Oh, and by the way, the female main character on the book, she doesn't have a name. So I think we can call her 
Perfect name. Two stars. Not one star because I'm not a bad person, so two stars. And then I finally decided to end Once Upon a Broken Heart series by reading the third book, A Curse for Through Love. All I can say is I love this. I love the book and I will talk about it later on my next video. So yeah, but nevertheless, it's five stars. I love it. It's a perfect wrap up of the series. So yeah, five stars and I love Jack's with my whole heart forever and ever. And then I read Bright by Ali Hazelwood. I love her love hypothesis, but I didn't love her love theoretically, sadly, because people loved it and I didn't. I give that book three stars because I can't really connect with the characters on that. But Bright, you guys. So it's a vampire and a werewolf. I devoured the book, you guys. I love Mystery, I love Loi, and I definitely love that Ali tried to write something other than her usual genre. So it's actually, he tried to do this other genre out of her comfort zone and I think she did it. Paranormal romance sounds quite odd to me privately, but do not let any prejudice came to you. If someone hate the book, doesn't mean you will hate the book. So yeah, if you're not so sure about picking up this book, I genuinely love this book one thing one thing that i hate about this book is the cover like she's so pretty she's so pretty and what he looks like a cat and he looks so weird don't don't judge the book by the cover because it's good five stars and then i read the famous five the 19th book five go to demons rocks all i can say is i love it i love it as a children and as an adult i love it for its stars because it just felt so nostalgic reading this book and then i read to kill mockingbird by harper lee i've actually read the book once like when i was younger i think it's more than 10 years ago but in my native language so it's the translated version in indonesia and i hate it it's a bit tacky it sounds odd i didn't understand a thing about the book but then i read it in english i loved it and i gave it a four stars so good <laughs> So yeah, you guys, that's basically the 13 books that are read on January and February. So let me know if you have read one of them or all of them. Please tell me about your opinions on the comment section. So yeah, that's all for today's video and I hope you enjoy that and I hope I can give you some insights and recommendations on what to read next for your next TBR. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye bye!